get that opportunity, start overthinking the one-twos, overthinking the extra pass, overthinking that goalkeeper movement. And we saw that start to happen. So I'm sure that they feel gifted that they received that present at the end of the last matchup versus Excel. Well, here we go. We are underway then. Complexity versus Team Hullet Nip. And a chance to put yourself and solidify yourself at the top of the table for now. But still plenty of twists and turns to come, I'm sure. Complexity going to be kicking from left to right in the dark blue Complexity strip. And then TG NIP from right to left in the all-white kit. Already some pressure from Complexity, but quite rightly so. Playing this one safe and playing the possession game. And I expect these guys to look to fill, fill it out a little bit. If you've been watching the Team Holland and Ninjas in Pajamas, they look for those extra passes. And that's really been a big key to their goal scoring presence and how they're finishing. Now, you might have seen a couple of the breakdowns now. They are so good at finding these penetration or penetrating angles and, and being able to open up key areas of the virtual pitch. TG NOP at the moment just chasing shadows, but finally a pass goes amiss, but then it's regained here by Pele. Into Ronaldo, gets away from one, but it's a fluffed shot in the box. And it will amount to nothing. And now TGNOP can work to break here. Plenty of space on this left-hand side. But again, patience is a virtue here. And I'd surely like to have that back. Right place with that outside of the boot, elastic go. Just a mistimed finish. Mbappe now. Needs a little bit of help, gets it from Hullet. But again, you're not shooting from there. Or are you with Zidane? No, Pelé! Oh, and oh it's just wide. And that's much more advanced. Again, if you took that down on a breakdown, you have that resurface, you have the cancellation. They purposely over showcase the Travella angle, which opens up a lane of space for the middle pass. And then you have that low driven into Pele. It's just a beautiful piece of FIFA expression. I'm talking FIFA artwork. It's one of the things I love about 2v2. There's the extra dynamic that is added. The dummy runs you speak of, faking angles, faking shots and hoping that your partner can pick up on that and take advantage of it when they do receive the ball. It's something that you really only see in FIFA at the higher levels, not necessarily just pro, but if you're going through the weekend league, if you're competing in those last games to get elite, where you're going to see a lot of runs that are only made to see if they can pull players out of position. Well, pressure here being applied by Complexity, similarly to what we saw in the previous game against XL. And it will end up as a corner. 16 minutes in, and it is Complexity who are on top right now. They have to see whether they can make anything off this one, Mike. They've been dangerous from the corner kicks. Haven't converted just yet, but they've definitely put them on frame. Whips it in. Back post. Anyone there? No, it's denied. And they're hoping to be able to hold on to it. Vieira. Pele now gets hold of it. Twisting and turning on the edge of the box. Does get support from Hullet. Probably not going to shoot just yet. Looking for another pass, as complexity so often do. But once more, NIP are on top of things and making sure they're tracking those runs. It's great defending there. Didn't get baited. A couple step overs. You saw the pullback. Looking for the extra pass. Or even if you can force one of the defenders to make a misstep. Again, it's a poor pass that Complexity will take advantage of. Mbappe into Pele. Surely there's space here. But again, can you wrestle it back? No. And there are chances here for Complexity. There are openings, but they just aren't able to put it into that final third and make it count just yet. Maybe some good fortune there as well for uh, TG Nip when you're looking at the defensive area. There was an opening for a back heel that kind of went for it, didn't quite go through. You had that cancellation of the McGeady spin. Again, didn't quite push through. A lot of bodies in the box, but that came off a mistake, and that's the worst feeling when you concede knowing that you kind of put somebody into an advantageous position. Well, that's the whole point of 2v2s, and one of the hardest things about 2v2s is knowing that you, when you make a mistake, you are also making a mistake for your teammate, and that blame will most certainly be piled onto you. I can only imagine how some of the players feel when they do make huge mistakes that can change games, similarly to what we just saw in the XL game versus complexity in those final moments. But 26 minutes gone. Remember, just one leg of FIFA here in the EA Sports Cup. So we're going to see people going at it, but a draw wouldn't be the worst result for these two teams as they are sitting in first and second at the moment, but the over-the-top through ball is easily gathered up by Vieira. And Vieira has just become a household name. Same with Lucio running that center back position. And if anything thus far, we've seen a lot of success from Complexity kind of overloading that left uh, that left wing, going against Cafu of all people. But that's been the matchup. Mbappe versus Cafu. Mbappe's been winning. Well, there's the table as it stands. But now a chance. But again, it's denied. But maybe from the header, Mbappe manages to just poke one home. And just like that, on the back foot, TG NIP take the lead 1-0. And I thought they were going to be kicking themselves a little bit on the finish. They do get a uh, they do get a deflection, of course, a rebounds, right player, right time. The, the passing is superb, maybe even sublime. But the finish, maybe a chip shot, 
to challenge the goalkeeper. It does bounce back favorably in this case, but if you wanted to finish that, maybe walking it around, we could have seen a fake shot. A lot of those ball rolls don't work with the goalkeepers the same way that they usually would throughout previous FIFA installments. Could be a chance for an instant response, though, but that's not going to work so well in the latest patch as Van der Sar gathers it easily. You can see there the table and how it looks. NIP now up to 15. This is brilliant news for XL because the only chance they have of getting through this group now is if TG and IP absolutely walk through it and XL can slowly but surely climb their way back into things against MGCF and of course try and catch complexity. It's a nice attempt at applying pressure again from complexity as they do seem to be a high pressure side. Unfortunately, NIP just able to get out of those back lines and now they're going to try and make something of it here. Mbappe's pass goes wayward though. And again, this will slow down ever so slightly. Yeah, and if your complexity here, it's important not to rush. They are making chances. If there is that one critique again, and it's, it's kind of my job to analyze a little bit, maybe play devil's advocate, they're in the right places, they're choosing the wrong finish. Even with that finesse shot that we saw earlier, that should be a Travella. Had the time, had it lined up, it's with Pele. Go ahead and use the outside of the boot. And it's been something I've been speaking to the pros about is finishing and how difficult it can be in those 1v1s because of how quick those keepers get off the line. I have seen some new ways of scoring goals that I haven't seen any of the pros use yet, so I'm going to keep it close to my chest because I don't want to spoil <laughs> anything. But let me tell you, when pros start to figure it out, I think we'll be starting to see a lot of something, and maybe I'll allude to it a little bit later. But now, Pele, denied by Cafu, 45 minutes on the clock, and that will be half time. In what was a half, I would say, dominated by complexity possession-wise, but it's TG NIP who show they are clinical once again. And if you're looking at TG NIP again, I wouldn't shift. You're happy probably playing those counterattacks. You've already got the go-ahead goal, and now it forces complexity to have to push more and more bodies forward. Well, of course, watching from the sidelines, we've got Brandon Smith, who's with a representative from XL. Let's see what they're thinking. Thank you very much, gentlemen. And yes, I am with Corey from XL. I'll come to you straight away. I mean, how are the boys feeling? A disappointing start in two games where they really need to be picking up points today. Yeah, I think, you know, a rough start, difficult games and really fine margins, I think, you know, pretty rough out there. But we've got to bounce back. We've got to pray for some, some good results elsewhere as well. And speaking of good results, it is going to plan so far. Technically, you need what? TGNIP to win and then SPQR to, to pull off a miracle, currently out of the group. Is that sort of the storyline you're looking for? I think so. You know, uh, if TGNIP do a jo job and then SPQR can do a job as well, then we're looking at potentially being back in it for that, that final game. So um, hope's high. We'll, we'll stay with it. We'll go again. Well, fingers crossed from everyone here at XL. Back to you guys for the second half. Well, what a time to come back is almost another chance. It's taken, but it's Van der Sar once more showing why he's so important between the sticks, Mike. But always good to hear from those who are watching. Of course, very nervy times for XL and everyone involved, not just the players. And good to hear from Corey as well. I remember calling him Corby on a broadcast once because that's what I was told his name was. Anyway, Ronaldo into Pele. Oh. Step overs! And oh, it was everything but the finish, Mike. That's so unlucky. And you see that step over again. It's so important this year. Maximize them, master them, influence them, add them into your arsenal. Anyone can do them. They're universal skills and they attack space. They make your opponent have to hesitate and they give you that just extra burst, a little bit of that extra oomph that you need when you get in the final third. And it can disguise what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. I was worried by the gestures you were just pulling, but Certainly an extra oomph is needed. I was doing step complexity. overs next sure to you, you okay? I'm sure you were, but complexity, <laughs> this is where frustration starts to kick in, when those chances start to happen and they're not taking advantage of them. But they still are having the possession, they are still getting in the final third. But now will TG NIP start to play the slow game? Will they start to try and frustrate complexity a little bit more here? I think they heard you talking. Actually, complexity cued the, the pause. I was I was going to be surprised if we saw Team Holmet, uh, Team Holmet, excuse me, ninjas in pajamas with with the cueing of maybe a shift to go a little more defensive. But these guys have so much experience and and they're familiar with how FIFA works. And if you don't finish your chances, it's a cruel game. And I will say that complexity is a little bit unfortunate or unlucky there, not just because it hits the post, but even the animation. After having that step over, that animation with Pele is maybe not as favorable, not as accurate as if you would have got a green time finish where you really traditionally unloaded uh, the, the shot attempt. There's not too much time left for complexity. 30 minutes on the clock. And we know how quickly that can go by in a game of FIFA. But there has been a goal elsewhere between MGCF and SPQR, excuse me, as it was Pele on the ball, able oh. to just cut it back, and it was Mbappe who scored for MGCF, and we can see what it means to them. I chatted to them earlier. They know full well what they have to do to get through this group, and that is certainly stage one of doing that job, is beating SPQR. See, that pause is still queued. 
You love these situations. If you're on the other side, you see a, a pause being cued, make sure that ball does not go out. You don't want that adjustment period. Pele trying to get past Zambrotta. Does sort of bumble his way past, but in the end, Vieira will just scoop up the pieces. And again, Vieira just so important for these squads. I do wonder how many people are going to do those World Cup swap tokens to get a Vieira of their own at home. There's Jarzinho now on the right-hand side, being tracked by Hullet, but this could be a good opportunity for Team Hullet NIP. But again, Mike, they are more than happy to go back and play the possession game, and quite rightly so, because a victory here for TG NIP would pretty much secure them through and maybe even secure them first place with results happening elsewhere. And it's got to be said, that pause has been queued more than 20 minutes now of game time as well. Mbappe, no! Oh! Oh! And just like that, another nail put into the coffin here of this game and Complexity find themselves two behind. And again, it seemed like it was against the run of play, Mike. It does not matter. I almost mixed up bad and, 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 and matter there. I, I put them together. But it does not matter. I was going to say bad turns to worse here for complexity. And the big difference, and I, I say this time and time again, I know they haven't conceded. You could talk about the clean sheets. Good for them. Maybe a little bit of good fortune in this game. But every time they get into the final third, they're into the box. That was made out of not a lot. They held the ball well, the extra pass. But to have that ball roll, goalkeeper goes down, you tap it home. It's a quick, instinctive move. And that's been the story of everything we've seen with Team Hullet, Ninjas in Pajamas today. That collaboration, that partnership, it's been at a premium quality. They're trying to go home for the holidays on a certain type of energy and a certain type of vibe. Presents getting handed out everywhere. Well, you can see the group there and a victory here, 15 points. Well, my math may deceive Whoa. me, but that qualifies them. Surely. Because they couldn't be caught up I'm by not a, I'm not good at permutations, but 15 sounds good. They to at least couldn't be, be caught up by second. XL, but of course, they could still come second in the group because MGCF, with that game in hand, are creeping up on them. Boys were thinking, you know, we only need 12 to 13 points to get through these groups. 15 would have them so confident going into that final game to top this group. I think they know now at 2-0, with only 17 minutes remaining, it's just about... Playing the smart game, holding on to the ball, denying complexity the chances here. But complexity, of course, will want to flip that script. They'll want to get two quick fire goals here. Similarly to what we saw Cameroon do in the World Cup today. Here's Hullet. Need some help, get some help, but look at the bodies behind the ball for TG and IP. Mbappe. Again, comes to nothing. A quick steal away, Captivia. Assistance from Vieira. Plenty of bodies in the middle. Eusebio, maybe he can strike and he will! And there is still hope yet for complexity. Such an important goal at the perfect time. And I was just going to say there's a lot of time to work with, Dan. And I do appreciate the resurgence of Eusebio over the last couple of years of the competitive scene. He hasn't necessarily transcended. Even like Vieira, he used to always be a staple in the center mids or the holding mids. He's turned into a center Mac now to keep his life expectancy or his FIFA life expectancy going, at least at the pro level. Uh, it all comes down to those counter presses. When we're looking at what complexity is going to produce, you're going to see a lot of that constant pressure. And I was just going to, to add in before they scored that goal that the space will be made on that instant press or that constant press because as the offensive players try to transition offensively, if they have an error there, they're out of position, one pass and we're through. We see that a lot in FIFA 23. Well, the pressure was applied. Complexity are rewarded with a goal. And suddenly this isn't so simple for TG NIP. They were cruising at 2-0. They were top of the league. Happy, dandy, but Eusebio maybe will spoil the party ever so slightly here. As with Wally's 13, make it 12 minutes left in game for Complexity oh. to try and rescue a result. But NIP looking to do something from the kickoff here. There are bodies in the middle. You can see switching over to Ginola now. And oh, just about gets the shot away. But Van der Sar again with a huge save. As Leva David is denied there. Close quarters. But they're still working this one from the corner. A goal here would surely kill off complexity, and complexity know it. That's why they're defending for their lives. Showing some ingenuity in the box as well. Not a skill move you technically see. E even at the beginner, intermediate, or advanced stage. Uh -oh. Ooh. What a chance this is, Cruyff. Stretch your legs, son. Can you get a shot? Can you get away? Oh, but the keeper's off his line. Maybe there could have been an opportunity for a chip there. But again, we spoke about how quick these keepers come off their line and Complexity not able to take advantage of what could have been a huge chance. Here's Eusebio, Complexity still going for it. Still trying to find an equaliser. 
to try and put their chances of qualification a little bit more solid. Ronaldo, and it's going to be saved by Van der Sar. Could have done a little bit better. It was a little bit of a soft one, must be said. Now what have they got from the corner? What's coming from the training ground? And there you have it. Complexity right back into the game. Back post leaping above everyone. And you know full well they've done that one before. And it's got to be said, I don't think that's good for anyone in the competition other than these two. They each add a point sitting at the top. I know that NGCF is, is chasing. I'm not sure on the permutation gods. We might have to talk to Richard here. But this might eliminate Excel. I know that XL definitely wanted TG and OP to be winning this game. A draw does not favor them as much as it would a victory. But there has been a goal elsewhere. Of course, we have another game going at the moment. MGCF versus SPQR. And what's happening here? Uh -oh. Maybe the party boopers are going to be SPQR. Remember, zero points at the moment, but they're starting to throw a spanner in the works. I don't know if you heard me. Before we came up here, I said expect to draw. They're going to take points out of this game, an all-Brazilian affair. I'm just patting you on the back, I'm patting me on the back. I don't even know if that result's going to stand, but that's where I'm at. Well, I mean, that is good news for the likes of Complexity, because there's how the table will look. Complexity still have a three-point lead, so suddenly that game in hand is almost negated ever so slightly after that loss earlier. And NIP find themselves four points ahead of MGCF. So this group, very much on a knife's edge. As we know, XL watching on eagerly want NIP to be beating Complexity here so that they would still have a chance of getting through. I'd love to have a microphone in there. I, I see the coaches going hard in terms of adjustments and maybe even some calculations on the fly there. Because at the end of the day, you just need to get out of your group. This is very World Cup-ish. If you're, if you're looking at getting out of the EA Sports Cup and getting out of the group stage and then pushing on to that the, the January window, shall we say, the bracket play. Well, the result, far more important for complexity to try and secure a victory here, but I'm sure they wouldn't be too annoyed with a draw, especially considering they were 2-0 down, but it's TG NIP holding on to the ball, playing time. But we have seen Complexity steal a ball away a couple of times in these areas. So TG NIP have to be careful as we go into added on time. One extra minute. Is there any more chances? Or are we going to be finishing this one as a 2-2 draw and splitting the points? Yes, we will. A point each for both sides in our first and second teams in this group. 